Yo, I'm Carlo. Eureka. And this is the bench. The bench. The bench. The bench. Yeah. What do they call you in Joburg? Every time anyone sees us now, they're like, ah, oh, the bench, the bench, the bench. I'm like, okay, but you also know my name. And we are celebs. Carlin's a celeb. This is what fame feels I'm not like. A, I'm not a celeb. Couple subscribers of 200. You know the vibe. <laughs> How are you doing, fam? I'm all right, I'm all right. What's been happening? I haven't seen you in a, in a minute. Yeah, because where were you? Guys, I was in Sin City. Sin City? <laughs> they stole my phone. They stole her phone. You gave it away. I did. I you donated it. Out of my hand. Basically. Literally. You were like a good Samaritan. You were like... I was just trying to mind my business, stay hydrated. Yeah. And a man was like, you mind your business by not having a phone anymore. You know? Grabbed it, drove off. Just need to stop uh, stalking people on social media. Free, you know what people go on social media off the grid, cleanses, guys. Off the, off grid. the grid, off the grid. I'm only yeah. on the bench. So now. if you need to get contact of Narika, uh, send a raven, <laughs> smoke signals, write a letter. Please uh, do. The mailboxes are open. The DMs are closed. The DMs are closed. Um, what's been happening in the football, Carl? I think quickly Super League started and ended. It came, it came into our lives and left and left. Oh like wow! That. Again, like that. That lost lover, you know that one that got away. Let's just. Is yeah. it a lost lover because people weren't happy with the Super League? Toxic relationships, you know. We love to see it. But it came so quickly and left just as quick that we move forward. DSTV Prem. I think we should kick this episode off with our mini rivalry. All right, all right. I won't say it's a rivalry. It's kind of boring. The season. Uh, hopefully, uh, can we get a cut back? Can we get a rewind to what Colin said the result was going to be? Yeah. It, Top two football knowledge. Yeah, I mean, it was a draw. 1-1. One, one. I told you. You know, stalemate. You are trash. But, uh, you know, it happens in life, you know. You, sometimes you can't win every single game and uh, we share the love. Bloom took the lead. Couldn't hold on. Yeah. Mendy took a boat on. Secure a draw. Yeah, it's a draw. You know, mm. smiles all around. Black Leopard cemented to that. I, do you think they're going to get relegated? They, they are, they're probably done. They're done. I think they 24 games. Maritzburg, who... It's 19-18-15. Black Leopard's on 15 points. Yeah, what I'm saying, Maritzburg now. So the third third from bottom place, the playoff yeah. game, right? And then Maritzburg, I think, are fourth. And they have two games in hand over the bottom three. And they're on like 22 points. So like, it's pretty much done. Black Leopards, you know. this is crazy though. So Black Leopards played Super Sport, who started really well in the season. Mm -hmm. Towards the end of the season, not doing as great. Well, did they really start as well? Because it was, they were in Lumpopo, well, yeah, yeah. storms or whatever. Storms were happening. But they were, there was an app at some point. Black Leopards held them. Super Sport were held to a 1-1 one -one draw. But you look at those match stats for a team that is basically relegated. They had, statistically, like, mm. from the match, 25 shots 25 on goal shots. in comparison to Supersport's 13 shots on goal and 9 on target and Supersport only had 3 on target. Um, like, that's crazy, but they are relegated. We have always spoken about uh, the teams from Lumpopo playing with this, this thing, you know, and they didn't disappoint again. I mean, clearly they're going to be entertaining the people in the Glad Africa Championship next season so there's that so unless they buy their rights unless they buy their rights you know but uh, it's unlucky for Super Sports I mean again we're talking about a club that's just uh, things aren't sitting right with the players with the coach with the results everything is just not going their way recently and uh, a draw is a draw again is it a Soweto Derby? Swallows it is a Pirates. Soweto Derby yeah it is it's but it's OG not Soweto the Derby. Soweto Derby it's not the it's not the premier Soweto Dob. It's not the one that, you know, people... It's not the moneyed one. It's not the moneyed one that sells out 90,000 people in the stadium. But it's the... You know, if you're sitting with your grandparents, like, that's the one they probably that's remember. That's the Soweto yeah. Dobby. Solos, Pirates, that game ended 1-1. Mm -hmm. um, Solos took the lead. For once. But how did they take the lead? <laughs> it just... Guys, he's the captain of our team. <laughs> Why are you going to come for the team? guy, man? I know. Just rest one weekend. I know it's an own goal. <laughs> I know that an own goal can happen to anyone. Yeah. Right? Because no one intentionally will no, decide. Like no defender decides that. Ah, I mean, today I'm going to score. You know. For the other. I've team. been on a drought. One day I'm just going to put in the back of the net, and. And yeah. it's going to be my own net. I think 
what must be said about the goal though is that if he was a striker, great finish, my guy. <laughs> Great finish. But he's not. Great finish. Number nine, diving in the box, hit a bottom corner, you know. I don't even think, you know. Bafana are looking for a striker. So, you know, that's why if you think of a career change, you know, the number nine spot is open in a Bafana shirt. But, yeah, other than that, horrific season. He is having a terrible horrific season. Horrific season. Is it just like, you know, when you get new shoes and you have to walk around, new boots and you have to... Yeah, like, you need to just break them in. Is that what he's doing uh, right now? I guess you got to give everybody your first season grace. You know, to to walk yeah, to the squad and tactics, but, but he like, has experience, Colin. You like do you're expect a professional. it. You do you expect be better from to. from the captain and a multiple league winning player in the in the prem. But uh, everybody makes mistakes, you know. But as long as they didn't lose, I think it's fine. But we know this. Pirates have it within them to score goals. To score goals. I think it was kind of a reverse roles, like a freaky Friday situation. At least find a goal. Yeah. Like, usually we watch Swallows, like, coming behind, like, you know, yeah. amazing again. But this time, it just rolls reversed. I think one thing that must be said, though, is that Swallows are creeping up there to getting that record for most draws in the league, which is low-key hilarious. I mean, the record is 18 draws in the league. Now they're on 14, you know. Uh, I would bank money on and them. break it. Yeah, if I was a betting man... To think man, about it, they've only lost one bet. game this season. Only one? But the only reason... Their league position is what it is. It's because of those draws. Yeah. I mean, if you if you change those one points into three points, you're talking about a, a legitimate title race. It's like you 14, know? 14 times two quick match, 28 points. That could have been theirs if they won those games and yeah. they converted those draws into wins. Yeah, but oh well, now they... they I mean, they're still top eight. Yeah, yeah. They, it's not, they're not having a terrible... From, for a promoted team, they're top eight. You know, they up there competing and... Kudos to them, but um, I do hope that you get the, the record for the most draws because that's something out of the season, if not a trophy. I don't think that's <laughs> anything out of any season. Um, and then Benny and the boys, Amazulu play TS Galaxy. Certified dub, 2-1 for T... For not for TS Galaxy, 2-1 for Amazulu, Benny and the boys. Um, Majora scored both of those goals, got on the score sheet. It's having kind of a, like a renaissance, you know? Things are coming back to him from his younger days. I think he's what, like 35? Now he got twice on the score sheets, you know, and the goals that he scored were like rewinding, you know, taking the clock back in time. So I think Benny is doing wonders. I've been saying Benny from the beginning, from Benny's the very b- beginning, beginning, I was like, guys, Benny is the man. Benny is the guy. Amazulu owners knew what they were doing when they went to him and they were like, take care of our first team. The most exciting news for me is that and this is an argument, well not an argument, a conversation I had with someone over the weekend about Benny and Amazulu. Mm-hmm. And we both came to the conclusion that Benny won't take that job at Pafana. Pafana. I mean, wh- why is it? Just because... So I was speaking to uh, Malume and, yeah. you know, he has top tier footballing knowledge, being, being a veteran in the, yeah, veteran in in the, the game. game. Um, and he just said, it were, it's not worth it for Benny. It's not worth it for him to become the, most the Bafana coach. The most prestigious Which job in South Africa. Is it prestigious now? Yes, it has been uh, kind of a, a rocky road for a lot of people, you know. And uh, a lot of people have marred the, the name of being a Bafana coach. But he also said that Benny... It's still being Bafana coach. He said that Benny needs to like, gain a bit more experience. Like He's too green, if that makes sense. As a coach, he's too green. I, mean, I don't know if that's a valid, like a valid I understand that. Reasoning. He is young, but he's not even 50 yet, you know. But I mean, results speak for themselves, you know. And the man has won trophies in South Africa before. He has the qualifications and he's currently proving everybody wrong who says that he's not an elite coach. Benny at Bafana, imagine. I would like to see Benny McCarthy um, coach Bafana at a World Cup. It would be seen. I think TKZ would even come back out of retirement and make a song. They come but, back to you know Boom Shaka as well. But everybody. everybody would come back. But like realistically, I do agree with the Malume. He's a bit green. Yeah. And then cheaper arrow, another draw, but this is a goalless draw mm. from Arrows. I'm not gonna lie. Any result that's not a L from even when they have lost from Arrows, I've never been too sad. Because they're enjoyable to watch. Yeah, they are. Like, they look like a proper team. I mean, like, when they lose, they don't lose, like, without trying, you know? When you watch them, there is a game plan, there's excitement, there's going forward, they're defending. So, I think 
for this season for Arrows. They're not going to win anything, but uh, they won the hearts of the people. Definitely, that definitely. Trippy and I said, are they going to be here? That's a, that's a sticky one. I think over the past weeks, we're talking about Trippy United, like... What's going on at Chipper? Yeah, yeah that's, that, I think that sums it up. That sums Nobody it up. Nobody knows. <laughs> but the biggest game this weekend, and surprisingly the biggest game the past weekend. Colin, how do you feel? An invincible season no more. Taken away from you. Um, from your, the way it was there and it just... Not just from me, from the people. From the people. I feel like we... And by your favourite team. We have been... Um, Robbed. Robbed. Bamboozled. Bamboozled. Duped. You know? Taken for a joke. Taken for a joke of not seeing Sundowns actually accomplish an invisible season. I think... And it's not even... We're not even going to have a chief slander report. Mm. So a little bit of like, let's, let's work our way to the game the weekend. So both the teams had midweek fixtures. Okay? Mm -hmm. Chiefs lost to Cape Town City 2-1 midweek fixture. Of that result, I'm going, ah, oh, Chiefs are definitely going to Sundowns, yeah, man down. Yeah, because Cape City? We've, we've discussed, yeah. we've hyped them up too much. Kaiser Chiefs, Gavin Hunt and the boys, why did you lose kind of thing. But Mamarodi Sundowns, right, considering how much we slow on the Chiefs and how much we don't really rate them 100% of the time, even with a 50% fit team or like in a team, I would have backed Sundowns to beat them. Mm. But Sundowns went from losing on the, in that penalty shoes side in the Nibank Cup to drawing in the midweek fixture against uh, Benny and the boys, Amazulu. Well, they did look shaky, you know. And that was just topped off mm. by Ow. Gavin Hunt's team stopping them from making Kaiser history. Kaiser Chiefs. Who knew? Kaiser Chiefs. If you, if you were a betting man, would you have betted Kaiser Chiefs to be the team to stop? To be the, the one L. You, that was probably the bet. Let's be honest. Like, if you were betting, man, that was probably bet. Because you always bet on the scenario that nobody expects. Nobody expected Kaiser Chiefs to beat Sundowns on the day. I think it's weird the way you phrased it because it does sound like everything does happen in threes. You know, and they did uh, get knocked out, drawn, and then now they lost. So... Still top of the log. Still top of the and log. Still two games in hand. You know, but I mean. But now there's that under that out. When you look at the table, there's an L and there's one. Now we gotta just listen to all the Kaiser Chiefs fans think that they actually had a good season. You know, this no, no, no. The no. season was made no, 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 by no, no. beating Sundowns. You know, no. we're talking about they were loud. They were loud. They were the very song, loud. I was watching this social. game. I was watching this game People with the Malumes. Out there, you know, I was watching it with all the Kaiser Chiefs Malumes, <laughs> and. The way they were shouting in my face when Kaiser Chiefs was scoring. And I was like, I don't even... I even started... I came, I did. I attacked them about Kune. I was like, this man needs to leave. As the words left my mouth, did Kune not make a great save and then distributed the ball? And I think it's an assist. Is that, would that be a Kune assist? I think it was, that was the own goal. So, uh, like, nah, he... he, he he influenced the game, you know. It was a pass to an assist. So, yeah, I'll give him that. I think the one thing, do we have our Kune back? You know, no, guys. Back? Let's be honest, though. It wasn't a one-off game. He played well in a couple games before it, right? Still shocking in some of the decisions yes, he makes. It's the same but thing. Like, Just because Kazi Chiefs have had like two or three okay-ish good games, yeah. beat, uh, well, beat the yeah. love leaders, that's it. The league leaders currently. Does that mean that Kaiser Chiefs are going to be challenging for a title next season? You can't go off that logic. That logic is crazy logic. That doesn't make just, sense. You it's like you're at varsity and you are just passing. You're getting 50, not even. You are just not passing. You're getting like 49, but they're pushing you over because of those DP, you know, quick maths. Yeah. Then you write an exam and you expect to pass your exam with a distinction. My yeah. guy, it's not happening. You writing us up. Gavin Hans, I think he was speechless. I think he had no yeah. thoughts, but it was good. good it was good no thoughts. It was, it was good, no thoughts no with thoughts. a smile, you know. Oh, guys, I'm just disappointed. Yeah, but we move, we move. You know, we, we move forward. Pieces. There's always we another move. season. I think Sundowns are going to win the league most likely. So I think Sundowns yeah. have now flirted with the idea that they can go unbeaten in the league, yeah. and having an invincible league season 
is now more tangible for this club. Mm -hmm. And they've already achieved so much and won so much that this might be their goal yeah. going forward. Let's go unbeaten. Which is crazy. So some upcoming fixtures. Sundowns do have quite a few games in hand, so I think they're going to be playing quite a bit of catch-up. Off the back of a loss, not a big loss, to Kaiser Chiefs. Just to one. They take on arrows. Money yeah, and arrows. It's actually tough, eh? I mean, to go up against Chiefs and lose, and now to go up against our arrows third place. A solid arrows. You know, if they solid lose, arrows. if they lose back-to-back -back games, then we're actually talking about a legitimate title race. You know, with Amazulu and arrows. Uh, we do have a Amazulu guest. I wouldn't call him a guest. The man, the guest, myth, man, the legend. The myth, the legend. The man, the myth, the legend. You know, probably the number one pin supporter. Lunga. You know, the one. You, you, if you go in the comments, you'll see his name. Welcome, Lunga, to the to the bench. What up? Thank you. Thank I don't you. think we are split. <laughs> 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 it's a comfy fit. It it's a comfy, it's a comfy fit. It is. It is a comfy Did fit. Did you hear the voice? Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You just thanks, add some, thanks. add some bass to the bench, your voice. Guys. Lunga. Yes, ma'am. Welcome to the bench. Welcome thank to the you. bench, actually. Yeah. Are Amazulu going to win the league? Title chases. I think that um, as a fan of the bench, if I can make it from the screen <laughs> to the bench, <laughs> then Amazulu can make it from the bottom. Anything's possible. To the top. Do you really think so? Yeah, no. happy with Coach Benny. Very happy. Uh, a true maverick, game changer. And if you believe, man, <laughs> from the comments to the bench, <laughs> from behind the screen <laughs> to in front of the screen, Absolutely. anything is possible, guys. It goes, anything is possible. It goes, it goes Steve Compella press conferences. Lunga. Lunga. Thank Lunga you. speaking about Amazulu. What are your thoughts on the Sundown Chiefs game, boy? Sundowns Chiefs, um, I'm a huge fan of Gavin Hunt, so I wasn't surprised that he could pull it off. It's just the player thing. The players need to communicate with him, so yeah, no surprises in the results, to be so honest. So you basically, they were set up to lose? Because you and I had the conversation. Ah, oh, Sundowns set up to they lose. They were set up to lose. I mean, playing three games in a, in a season, is, you yeah, know, in, a, in a, week, a week. Three games in a week. Three games a week is not easy. Yeah. Um, they've done it before. But it's asking a lot, especially in this current climate that we're in. The in the panoramic. In the panoramic. In the you know? panoramic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Lunga. Thank you. It's always vibes. Before you leave. Any, con any contribution. <laughs> 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 guys, drop a... Kaiser Chiefs, come through. Come through to the comments. Drop a comment. Let us know how you guys are feeling about being... What? The David to the Goliath. Are they David? David. Hey, David. David. He threw the stone. He threw the stone. He threw the stone. Even though Chiefs is kind of a Goliath. David to the Goliath. Let us know what you think is going to happen in this week. Fixtures. Bloom, Chiefs, is that a certified dub for Bloom? Or is Carlin still a delusional fan? And is there going to be a title race? Or Sundowns going to drop more points and there's going to be a title race up there. Sundowns, Arrows, Amazulu. What's going to happen? Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. As always, love, you know the vibes.